session for the manufacturing processes. So in today's video, we will be discussing about the milling machine. So practical, which is based on the milling machine, we will be discussing. So now let us discuss the aim of this particular experiment, which is based on the milling machine. To generate the slots in the workpiece, you all have known that whatever the gears which are there, the gears, the formation of the gears, so these are the gears in which we can produce this teeth on the gear. So this teeth on the gear, they are basically produced with the help of this milling operation. We can generate these slots. This type of the slots are generated with the help of this milling machine. So basically to generate any of the slots or you can say to generate the teeth of the gear, to form the teeth of the gear that is with the help of this milling machine. Now, which are the apparatus which we require? The first one we require that is known as an horizontal milling machine. We will be taking for the horizontal milling machine. There are vertical milling machines are also available. So this is the machine on which we are going to perform our experiment. This is the horizontal drilling machine. Second one which require that is the milling cutter. Milling cutter is always taken in such a way that which type of the slots you want to generate on any of the specimen that such type of the things which we will be requiring in the milling cutter. So milling cutter they are always taken in such a way that which we can generate the, that type of the slots on the gear. And the material which we require that is nothing but the work piece on which we want to generate that slots or we want to generate the teeth on the gear that is the work piece which we require. Now let us discuss the principle about this milling machine. Which are the principle for this milling machine? Metal removal which is taking place due to the cutting action of the cutter. Whatever the metal we are removing, by which way we are removing? We are removing in the form of the cutter. Cutter will move whenever it comes in the contact with your particular workpiece, it will remove the surface. Now, cutter is placed at a particular one place and it is allowed to rotate on its axis. So, primary motion is given of the cutter. And whereas your workpiece, whatever the workpiece is there, it will be moving in this way and when it comes in contact with your cutter, what will happen? It will remove the surface. So, revolving cutter, it is held in the spindle or an arbor. So, whatever the cutter is there, it will be placed inside that particular thing that is the, it is placed on the spindle or the arbor. And the machine tool on which the milling operation is performed that is known as a milling machine. Primary motion as I told you, rotary motion of the cutter and the secondary or the feed motion is given by the translatory motion of the workpiece. So here it is the principle of your thing, the cutter is moved and the cutter is moved on its axis and this table on which workpiece is kept it is moving so you can see these things it is removing this cutter is removing the material from the workpiece. Now let us discuss about the parts which are there in the milling machine. So you can see there is there will be a base which is located on which the whole milling machine is kept. On that thing there is a column which is provided over here and on that column there is one Overarm is there. On the column there is overarm and on that overarm this is yoke. Yoke is nothing but it is going to give, yoke will give the support to your arbor. Arbor is connected between the column and the yoke. Between the yoke and the column your arbor is there and on that arbor you can see over here the cutter is located. So this is the cutter on which it is going to move. And there is one thing which is used that is known as a brace which is there for the balancing of the machine. Now workpiece is kept on the table and this table is moving with the help of the saddle. With the help of the saddle you can adjust the height with the help of that. So over here you can see the knee. This knee portion we can move with the help of this elevating screw. What will happen? This knee portion will come up and will go down and the saddle will help to move in this particular perpendicular direction. Knee in this direction, saddle in this way and whatever the table is there, it will give in the one way this up and down motion, translatory motion. So by adjusting, first what you have to do, you have to adjust the knee, after that adjust the saddle and then with the help of the rotating wheel, we will move the table and as a result of which the cutter will cut the material, will remove the material from the sample and the cutting will take place and the milling operation is carried out. 
So now let us see the different parts on the actual milling machine and then we will be going for the different types or the practical of that particular thing. So we will be seeing first the different parts of the milling machine and then followed by the practical or the working how to generate the slots on that milling machine. Yeah. So now let us see the thing, actual working of the milling machine. And what are the different parts of the milling machine are? So starting with the first one, let us see over here. Whenever a power cable is applied, the power is applied, these two levers are there. These two levers are used for the adjustment of the speed of the armor. That means for the movement of the cutter, whatever the speed we require, it can be adjusted by these two levers. On-off switch. By changing this on-off switch, the machine will start working. As soon as you can come over here, you can see this motor which will be giving the power to this particular machine. So now let us see the different parts which are there of this particular machine. This is your arm. On which you can see over here, there is one rod which is located over here. That rod is known as an arbor. This is your arbor. On which this thing, this is known as your cutter. This cutter is used to cut the material. This cutter is used to cut the material. Over here you can see many different parts are located over here. These are the washers. Why these washers are kept over here? To place your cutter at a particular same point. Now let us come towards the down area. You can see over here. This is the thing in which there is a chuck is located over here. This is your head stock. Head stock in that there is a chuck in which there are jaws in which our workpiece has been placed over that thing. So that is a four jaw chuck is located over here. In that four jaw chuck, we are placing our sample over here. And this sample for proper gripping, we are placing different washer so that our gear will not move in any of the directions. And over here, there is a tail stoke, which is used to give the support so that the whole thing will aligned in only one line only. This is the stage which is used to move the whole portion, this whole thing, both the head stock and tail stock is lied over this particular part. And this part is allowed to move in forward and reverse direction with the help of this wheel. By movement of this wheel, what will happen? Your whole head stock and tail stock, the saddle will move in forward and backward direction. So this is the movement of that thing. Now comes the particularly indexing portion. This is the indexing plate different indexing plates are there why these indexing plates are required these indexing plates are required to determine at what gap we want the grooves inside the particular gear so in this video we will be seeing that we are making a two whole circle and one that is the 14 half circle that means one total 30 we are moving of this particular thing so this indexing basically is nothing but it is used to get the how much distance we want a particular grooves inside that thing so by moving by moving this thing what will happen your gear will move in that direction so with the help of this thing we can change or we can move the direction of the gear now how will this particular thing works whenever the machine starts we will be rotating this thing and between the cutters it will move and make the grooves of the particular thing. After one groove come back to its original position we have to move by the indexing and after that indexing once again we will be proceeding further. So in this way we can make the different grooves according to us how many grooves we want to make or how many teeth we want to make on the gear it can be adjusted by this indexing plate and the gears are always performed and they are made by this milling machine. This milling machine is in the way of the horizontal way so it is known as a horizontal milling machine. And if you want to adjust this saddle particularly up or down direction, there is also one lever which is kept over here. This lever, by movement of this lever, we can adjust the height of this particular saddle. And now we will be seeing that how to perform a particular experiment and how to generate the gear slots from this particular milling machine.
This was all about the milling machine and in this way we can generate or the samples on the milling machine.